I know we've been kind of trying to get ourselves out, even though we just dove pretty deep back into it, get out of all of that fluff that they're putting in front of us and play some video games. And you let me know that Saints Row, Saints Row 5, I guess, was free on the PlayStation Network. And I've been back in the gaming world, man. Yeah. Been playing the fuck out of it. You and I played like all day Monday. Play, I mean, it was tough to, to, I mean, it's still real buggy on that. So we had to flip to a different game. I gotta, I, I, hold on. But before, I got to be honest with you. <laughs> Sometimes playing with you, like, I want to pull my hair out because you're just so. You're you're so quick. Shit don't fucking work. You're so quick to just say fuck it and then you just get in a bad mood. Yep. And then no matter what, you're just not having it. It's like it's like a five year old throwing a temper tantrum. And it's and it just happens so and it just happens so much with you. And I feel sorry for you. Video games are trash. I understand they don't fucking play them at all. That's why I stop playing them once that shit starts. And you're like, come on, come on, I honey. Win. I can't, I can't, I can't win. I can't win with you. No, I just can't. See the defiance, the disobedience. It's still can't there. Win. I just can't win with you. It's still there. But there is another one to get excited for, and that is Grand Theft Auto Six. Okay. The alleged release date, October twenty fourth of next year. Just said October twenty fourth. So I'm going to assume next year. I don't know if it's going to be ready in. A month. Have we seen a trailer or anything? Do they have a trailer out? Uh, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Yes. We have a trailer out. Okay. Um, and see, I heard a rumor that the budget was a billion dollars that they put in to make this game. Then I looked that back up. Billion. I know a billion. So then I just tried to Google stuff earlier today uh, based on this story uh, to share, and all the shit was saying two billion. And I scrolled all the way through. So I don't know if that's true or not, that that's the budget. But it might be because... Oh, that's the budget. That's not so much of how much that they... Is that how much they spent? To make the game. That's the budget. Paying all the people, like all the software. I mean, all the stuff that's involved. Um, And the reason could be why the price is where it is. Because Grand Theft Auto 6 is rumored to be priced at $150 per copy. So I know we're used to, you know... If you're spending that kind of money, that is like a next-gen bundle package, you know, with all these extra things. That is just the the price. It's one hundred and fifty dollars. Now um, they only making the PS Five and Xbox, X- uh, whatever the fuck we're on. Uh, yeah, whatever the new. Yeah, they're not gonna make PS Four versions. No, no, now. it's not. Right. Um, so, given the anticipated hundreds of hours of content, some fans are eager to pay for the game, while others find the pricing to be, quote, disgusting and unaffordable. Uh, GTA V, for example, was released in 2013 for $60, later coming down in price. Uh, so, if GTA VI so 13, so is th- priced at 150 that's a 150% hike in price. But... You're getting your money. I was going to say, the map reveal that I saw... And I hope that this is true, okay? That you can go to Liberty City, you can go to Vice City, you can go to Los Santos, you can go to Las Venturas. You can, like, it's put it all, every map in one, you know what I mean? Hmm. Like, the whole, like, series finally seems to be in one game. Like, the whole universe, for instance, is in one game, which is I mean, yeah, you're going to get your money's worth. If, if that's hours of content right there, I mean, who knows what the missions are going to be like. But, I mean, you could be spending months just trying to complete shit in Liberty City and you haven't even touched, you know, just East Los Santos. Just think of the online aspect of it. That too. But if it works. I thought it was going to be a new, a new map, new world. Well, and these are all leaks, so it could be. I don't know. It's a lot of speculation. It's just the information that's Some, been something been like so something far. like that. Like I'm okay to spend that money on 150 because again, you got you you're at least going to get a decade out of it. Right. Right. Yeah, the way this at, is. At, at the last one time. was 2013. So right. Yeah. And there's a decade right and there. And I could see how much I could see because you know especially online, there's so right. many people who would buy online those cards to have money to yeah. spend shit like it's so i can see and i mean 
the the only game that they really made that sucks is when they did the the uh, trilogy remastered. That's the only one that they Didn't made. Play that one. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it sucked because of the graphics, the glitch. It's kind of like playing Saints Row online. Right, you know? trying to connect again. Um, but yeah, other than that, they really haven't made like a crappy game. So they're pretty good, and you know they put in a lot of detail. Right. Red Dead Redemption, both one and two, excellent. Games. I mean, they put in a lot of detail. I mean, GT, like I said, GTA Five, a lot of detail on that. You know what's also cool is the amount of. Uh, voice actors that they have right. playing in there now, like even even something like uh, like the radio, for instance. You know, like they had uh, they had Axl Rose, I think was the uh, one of the DJs on, on San Andreas for like it was K Rock or some bullshit like that. Like he was the voice in between songs that would come on and be the dj they had uh, keith morris from black flag on the hardcore punk station and the uh, in gta 5 uh chuck d for the old school rap station in san andreas i mean even samuel jackson being officer tenpenny all right being the voice of that like you know that's kind of also now become like if you're featured in a game like that like as part of the world for instance like you kind of you you're kind of blowing the lid off it, and I bring this up because somebody is rumored to be a radio station in GTA Six. You want to try and take a stab oh, at boy. it? Oh boy, yeah. let me guess, my Calta. No, <laughs> oh. Joe Rogan. Oh really? The Joe Rogan podcast apparently is rumored to be featured in GTA Six radio, according to the latest report on the topic. Rogan is present in GTA Six, but will not be a character users will see in the flesh. Which is a shame. That'd be kind of cool if you could find the studio. So what are you gonna play? Just this fucking just any podcast well, episode? Saying. Like the, the rumor is not yet confirmed at this time. Some fans are skeptical given the franchise's history of spoof characters rather than celebrity collaborations, but. Would you listen to the Joe Rogan podcast on GTA 6 Radio? I'm sure people would. <laughs> you know what I mean? What if it was made up podcast? You know what I mean? Like- well, no, 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 no. Hold on. I got one better. Because you could even take, you can get podcasts in general, whether it's small like us mm. or, you know, other people. Because you see with these musicians with copyright you know, they don't want people using their music because mm. they want either, well, they want them, to get royalties either them or, yeah. or the, or the um, label company want want all that money. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they're they're not cheap. You know, they charge yeah. all these, co you know, whether it's video games or apps, Movies, whatever, yeah. to, you know, have the license to play these songs. So, but it would be cheaper to pay, you know, listen, we'll pay, you know, you five grand to just give us, you know, X amount of hours, uh, you know, of content to put in our game. You know, that would be cheaper because, you know. Yeah. I don't know if I, if, like if they, let's just say they didn't want to pay somebody and they got a couple of bumbling idiots like us, we would totally go for it. But they would have it like, okay, would we... See, my angle would be I wouldn't want to use an actual podcast that we've done and posted. I would want to just make up weird stuff so that people listen. Kind of like uh, the, the old talk stations on the, the previous Grand Theft Auto games. Yeah, Specifically they would give Grand, you scripts. Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City. I, I, God, I forget the guy's name. But he was the radio talk show host. There was a talk radio station, and it was just bizarre callers. And just the most random shit right. that you could hear. And then they would talk about stuff that was happening in the game, which I thought was cool, like based on a previous mission. So let's just say it would be our podcast and they just completed a mission where they blow up a building. And next time they tune in to that station, once that mission's completed, it's us throwing out, you know, five different conspiracy theories about what could have happened to the brain, right. you know, and all of them are wrong. Well, I'm sure they get a script because you have to talk about, I'd rather make one you up. have to, you have to feel like, you know, you're, it's part of the game. So right. you got to talk about whatever fucking city they're right. in. That's what I mean. Whatever, I don't so. think that it's going to be his podcast just on a station. Right. I think it's it's going to be, be a custom thing. thing. You're not yeah. going to hear him and fucking Russell Brand talking <laughs> about, you know, Ukraine and Russia and you're in. Welcome fucking, back all of you awakening wonders. And, and you're in, you know, some major, up city you know what i mean yeah. so but you know listen i mean there's fans there's fans for everyone so. i'm yeah if they do it i might try to check it out but i rather listen to music while driving in those games 
Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't see a game where I would be. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, because think about this, like especially with PlayStation, you know, you can link in your Spotify and you can listen to that, like. Oh, true. At any point in time while yeah. you're playing games, like it's kind of separate from the in-game music and stuff itself. Right. So I'm sure people kind of do that already. I know. With I've, listening yeah. to. You know, Joe Rogan, for instance, since he's, since he's on Spotify, I'm sure people have that on right. while they're playing fucking Madden or GTA Five or whatever. Because so, I've done that. I've I've thrown and I did it in a, you know, a much more simple, simple person kind of way. I just went onto YouTube and went to my music mix and would play COD Zombies while just listening to my music mix. Right. So, so. Yeah, it's not unheard it's of. It's the future, man. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool, man. But, 150 yeah. bucks, you know. Well, hold if on. If you're getting all of hold that, on. you also got to buy a PS5. Yeah, you got to pay it, but yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a lot happening there. So, I mean, it's... I'm definitely... I think I'm going to buy And I get it, year. too, at the same point. If you did spend $2 billion to make a game, like, you're going to want, you know, your shareholders want a return on... Let's go back. To, let's go back to 2013. If that... If GTA 5 bucks. was $150. Mm. I mean... It's kind of, it'd be kind of worth it. I mean, because then, cause then here's the thing, too. Is if you spent that much money on a game, you would be invested to play it more. That, too. Because sure. if a game was free, let's just say, um, you know, besides, you know, Fortnite is a, you know, that's, that's you know, uh, whatever. But... <laughs> In-game purchases keep that floating. Right, but what I'm saying is, you know, but you can go in and out. Like, you know, yeah, you're playing it right now, but then, eh, you might not play it for a year. I do that. But if you spend, like I said, it's, you know, because we're still used to 60 bucks. Like, that's kind of nothing to us. Right. But if you were to Well, that's spend, been the standard, yeah. Right, but if you were to spend $150 on that game, I feel also that you would be invested to... I want my money's worth out of it, so I'm going to play the shit out of it to kind of validate that price point. Maybe for, for the majority of people. I mean, I'm, I'd am still probably be the type to play the fuck out of it the first, like, two weeks I have it and then kind of fall off for a little One while. One glitch, and this yeah, guy's going to throw it. Two billion to make this game, and you can't even get... No, I can't. I can't. The NPC's walking up the wall. You're the Karen of video games. It's true. That's what you are. It's true. Sad day. <laughs> Sad day. There you have it. So get ready for well, if GTA you guys want to 6 yeah. in October. Yeah. We don't know what year. We'll see. Yeah. Just October. 24. It could be. Or 25. We don't really know. The year 2400. I don't know. 